So maybe a little post-turkey burn? What do you think? <laughs> Let's um, roll the shoulders around, back and around over here. So just get a little bit warmed up in the upper body and then reverse the shoulders, bring them forward. I have to admit, my body is pretty sore from yeah. public. And then rotate and pivot on the outside of the foot. And you guys at home, I think now it's clear. I, I close the shade a little bit. I know this more this time in the morning it seems to be a little bit crazy. Um, let's just make sure your hip, knee, and ankle go with you here. In three, two, and one. Stretch your arms all the way up. Triple tap through the center, front, middle, and back. And then come on back up. And do that again. Triple front, middle, and back. Come all the way up, front, middle, and back, all the way up, two more times. Front, middle, and back, come all the way up, and I was wondering where you were, front, middle, and back, come on up, and bring your hands to your thighs, open your legs wide, drop your seat low, press your right shoulder forward, hey dead, and switch to the other side. And come back to the right side, come back to the left side, Come back to the center, put your hands to the floor, bend your knees, stick your booty back, and then straighten your legs and fold, and then bend the knees, look forward, and straighten the legs and fold. Walk over to your left leg, hands down onto the ankle or floor, walk back to the center to the other side. Ooh, my back. All right. Walk back to the down here. Okay, mute. <laughs> Head mute, ET. Walk the hips back. Are you at Sam's house? Tell her Rachel's here. And then walk yes. the hands back in, roll all the way up. Stretch the arms up. Good. And lean to the right side. And lean to the left side. And as I said, if you missed the uh, announcement, if you have a kettlebell, grab it. If you don't, you can use a medium to heavier weight for a couple of movements with the kettlebell. They're just basic swings. But the first exercise, we're, we're not repeating exercises today. We're doing five different circuits. Each one of them is going to be 15 reps. So make sure that you are using a weight that you're comfortable with, that you can do, and it's challenging at the same time, perhaps to get rid of that last piece of pie that we might have had last night. Uh, just saying, not judging, because <laughs> I was there too. Uh, rack your weights at your shoulders. We're going to come from a squat. And as we come up, we press the arms up overhead, all right? 15 of those, they're called thrusters, squat thrusters. A medium to heavy weight, you can also use just one single weight, if you'd like, all right? And if you're not doing a full squat, you know, just get some of that hip mobility going in there. So rack the weights at your shoulders, press back through your heels in three, two, let's go. So squat down, as you come down, you drive the arms up for one. We've got 15 of these, two. Three, drive, four, five, six, get your butt as low as you can, seven, and drive through the heels, which will work your butt, eight, seven more, nine, ten, just five more, remember, you don't have to do this again, five, four, Three, two more, two, last one, and up. Good. Now, if you don't have a kettlebell, take one of your heavier weight. You want the kettlebell to go with Nike? Okay. So if you um, don't have a kettlebell, take a heavy weight. I'm just going to give you a quick little demo of the kettlebell. Um, you, you pick it up, if it's a kettlebell, even if it's a weight, and you're going to pick it up from the center. And drive from there up. And when you come up, the momentum of your hip thrust is what swings the kettlebell up, not your arms lifting. So it's not a front raise like we do. Okay? It's this movement that drives the kettlebell forward. All right? It's just real basic science. All right? And then something in motion will stay in motion, right? So. If you're picking it up, pick it up from the center. We're doing 15 kettlebell swings now. All right, in three, two, we go. 15, 14, 
13, 12, 11, Commissioner, 12, 10, 9, 8, 7, get a kettlebell in, 6, 5, 4, 3, and go ahead and mute, 2, and 1, good, put the kettlebell down, we're going to return to that, but before we do that, we're going to do some bent over rows, all right, so again, a heavy weight, Bend the knees. I know, get far away. <laughs> All right, bend the knees, hips go back. 15 bent over rows. Sink down. Arms can be in any direction. In three, two, we go. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11. Looks good, guys. 10, 9, 8. Cindy, I see your arm where you're. Bump. Seven, six, five, four, three, two more, one more. Stand up, put your weights down, and go back to the kettlebell, whatever you're using for a kettlebell. A weight or, oh, you're going outside, a weight or an actual kettlebell. We'll be doing a bunch of kettlebell swings um, throughout this first couple of sets. All right, so pick up your kettlebells, swing in three, two, go. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11. So don't try to pick the weight up. Nine, um, Elizabeth, keep your torso a little more upright. Eight, seven, so rather from your back, more from your hips, that's it. Five, four, three, two, one and place it down on the floor. Okay, easy peasy. Now we're gonna move into a deadlift, okay? One heavy weight, two heavy weights, two light weights, no weights, I don't care. Weight into both feet, knees bent, hips go back, knees are slightly bent, reach in front of your toes, come all the way up to standing, roll those shoulders back behind you, okay? So, go back to your heavy weights, you got 15 of them. 15 is the lucky number. Don't know why, but it's Friday. All right, three, two, go. 15. So reach in front of your toes, stand up and squeeze. And again, no rounded back. Collarbones broad, two, three, four, five. Squeeze when you get to the top. Six, don't go down fast. Seven. Keep your chest open. Eight. Nine. Ten. Got five more, guys. Five. Big stretch. Four. Three. Give me two more, two, and then one more. Good, put your weight down. We're gonna go to a single arm kettlebell swing. So if you're using a weight, you're just gonna swing with the right arm to start, and it's a hip thrust again. It's the same exercise, only we're using one arm, okay? So pick it up, you can pick it up with two arms, okay? Right arm's gonna just do the swinging in three, Two, we go. 15, 14, 13. You're good. You got me from the front and my reader model from the side. 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3 more, and 1. Good. Put it down and go back to your heavy set of weights. All right, pick up your weights, bicep curls. You can do hammers, you can do alternating arms, you can do rotation, here, take these. All right, uh, in three, two, go, okay. Curl 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 
seven, six, five, last four, three, two, one. Back to your kettlebell, whatever you're using. Single arm with the left arm this time. <coughs> left arm. Mm -hmm. All right, so pick it up. Right arm is free. In three, two, go. 15, 14, squeeze your glutes. Four, five. It doesn't matter how high it goes. Seven, eight, it could be belly, chest, overhead. Nine, 10, five, four, three, two, one. Good. Now, I'm just going to show you the next kettlebell exercise that you're going to do in a, in a few moments. But it's an alternate. Now, I know, like, Michelle, I'm thinking Karen might have done this with me a million times before. But it's an alternating arm kettlebell, even if you're using a weight. So pick up, you're going to pick up and swing. You're going to swing from the right arm to the left arm, left arm to the right arm. Here's the deal. You pick up the weight up here at your chest, not between your legs. So when you swing, you change at the top, not between your legs. And remember, keep your torso more upright, Elizabeth. So I want to see in your torsos, guys, not this. It's this. It's so it comes from here. I'm not bringing, I'm not bowing all the way down, all right? But first, <laughs> one, let, one weight, two weights, right, red weights, blue weights, um, right leg forward or back for a lunge and a, cro a cross body chop. All right, so step, if you can, step your right leg back again. If you're not doing a full um, a lunge, you can do, thank you. You can do a tap back or a just, um, I was gonna say something else completely. Uh, just, you know, to some mobility exercise. Put the weight of your right shoulder, left foot is forward. Get a generous step behind you in your right leg. In three, 15, two, one. 15, two, three, four, five, six, it's a forceful chop. Seven, eight, nine, five more. Five, four, three, two, one. Put the weight down. And, or keep it up, pick up the kettlebell. So we're gonna start with the weight in two hands, and then we're gonna change to the left hand, right hand, okay? So pick up your kettlebell weight, whatever, in three, two, go. So swing right hand to left hand. Two, three, good, four, keep your torso up, five, Six, seven, eight, good morning, nine, good morning. I guess you didn't get the 845, and ten, oh, get in there, get in there, oh, oh shit, five, uh -oh. four, yeah, this is because we might have eaten, three, two, oops, <laughs> you didn't want to come back. Yeah, and one more, each side, and then stop. Okay, Rob, don't worry, I'll fill you in. All right, pick up your weight for your cross body chops with your left leg behind you. Okay, so right leg should be forward, weight at your left shoulder. Again, generous step between your two legs. I got my read on that a little bit. All right, 15, in three, Two, go. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3 more. Last one. Good. Nice work. Okay. So yes, 15 sets of our alternating kettlebell swings. 
Oh, 15 cents. So get, grab your kettlebell rowing. I think you have one. I'm pretty sure you do. All right. We're going to go from right arm to left arm. Remember, you change at the top. Remember, it's not this movement. Okay? Well, I'm just going to mute you. You know, it's probably the middle of the night there. Nobody's, there's nobody to talk to. All right. Here we go. Pick it up in three, two, go. One. Two, three, good, four, five, squeeze your glutes, six, uh-oh, seven, Maria, okay guys, you changed it, eight, but it's okay, we only missed a few minutes, and here's the deal, nine, ten, because of that, you got five more. Five, four, three, two, one more, Ooh. one, and rest. Now, I did say we didn't have to do those things again, but you know what? Mm -hmm. We had two latecomers. Not your fault. Just the text got messed up, I guess. We're going to repeat it. Yeah, so um, get a lighter weight if you think you need it. Let's go back to our first set. We're using something for a kettlebell swing. Um, Maria, I don't know where you're at. Ro, you have a kettlebell. Maria, get a kettlebell type thing. Pick up your weights that you can thrust over your head. I know. I'm not an Indian. I can't say that anymore. But, um, but we're repeating it. Because you did it so well, and I think Maria and Rosemary deserve to have the same benefits, yes. Uh, and Cindy came in a few minutes. So, rack your weights in your shoulders, one or two. You can use one heavy weight. Good. All right, I'm going to wait. Feet are on the dip. I think might have missed some of it, too. All right, here we go. In three, squat and thrust overhead. Two, one. Fifteen here. Two. Three, just like the kettlebell, you thrust through your hips four. That's what dry, helps to drive the weight up. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, five more, five, four, three, one more. Beautiful. All right, pick up what you are using as a kettlebell or a kettlebell. Only 15, two arms together, 15 kettlebell swings. We go in three. You okay, Ro? It says you're connecting to audio. There you go. Two. Let's go. 15, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, last five, four, three, two, one, rest. Put the weight down, pick up two weights for bent over rows, heavy weights for that, please. All right? I'm going to just grab water because I talk too much. Heavy weights. Ooh, yeah. Good morning. Post, bur post turkey burn. Three, two, row. One, 15, 14, 13, 14, 15, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two more, no traps, two, and one. Oof. Weights down. Is that one piece of apple crumb cake that just, I don't know, didn't have to do it. All right, two hands, kettlebells, in three, two, go. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, Elizabeth, you're frozen. Nine, I hope you hear me. Eight, seven, there you go. Six, you're frozen, five, Debbie. I'm going to go up and pop four, that. Four, 
Three, yeah, you and guys are frozen. Two and one. Hop off, come back on, because I can see you. I can see you. Can you, you hear me? Moving? No. I do see you moving. I do. Okay. Yeah. Oh, uh, then never mind. You're, you're not frozen. Okay. I'm unfrozen. Okay, um, on to deadlifts. One heavyweight, two heavyweights, two lightweights. You choose. All right, soft knee, reach in front of your toes, come up, stand up, squeeze the back side of your body. Modifications are always welcome here. All right, here we go. In three, two, go. Hips back. One, stand up, squeeze. Oh, yeah. Two, uh -huh. two. Same thing with your back, guys. Shoulders back, chest open. So if you bring your shoulders forward, you round your back. If you bring your shoulders back, you open up your back. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Maybe five more. Take your time, especially on the way down. Five. Four. Keep the weight towards the heels, but put a soft bend in the knees. Three, two, and give me just one more. Good. All right, back to the kettlebell swing. This swing is going to be just in the right arm. Just in the right arm. So remember, we're not picking the weight up. We're thrusting the hips that drives the weight forward. Okay, and because we do that, we can also use a heavier set of weights than we might, or a heavier weight than we might normally do. All right? Right arm, left arm is free. In three, two, go. 15, 14, squeeze your glutes. 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, and 1. Nice job. Bicep curls, bicep curls, two weights, preferably, you got one weight, that's okay, make it heavy. Here we go. You want to take some? Sure. I don't mind. All right, 15, here we go in three, two, go. 15, 14, 13, if you need to go a single weight, 12, you know, alternating weights, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, it's the day after the storm, 4, clean up from the babies, 3, 2, one more, 1, put your weights down, left hand holds the kettlebell weight, kettlebell slash weight, whatever you're doing, left hand, right arm is free. Here we go in three, two, go. One, two. Maria, when you pack up, don't forget where your weights are. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Five more. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice. Oh. Okay, guys, last standing exercise or standing set. I'll hit the floor. Right leg goes behind you. Wave the left shoulder for the cross body chop. Great oblique work. Step your right foot generously back. Keep it off of a tightrope, but into a train track. Left shoulder, the weight is at the left shoulder. All right, bend the knees. Here we go. In three, two, we go. Wait, actually. Yes, okay. We're going. Go. go. 10, I don't know what happened, 2, I just had a brain freeze, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 5 more, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 more, 1, you know everything in this room squeaks. All right, this kettlebell swing is alternating hands. So we pick it up with two hands, leave it in one hand, and then we change at the top 
of the swing, okay? Change at the top of the swing, not between your legs. Pick it up in three, two, go. Put it in the right hand. One, two, three. Join the steps. Four, <laughs> five, six, seven, good, eight, keep going, nine, ten, you're not there yet, five, four, oh here's the good news, when we're on the floor and I'm more careful those three, two, and one, and down. Good, you got one more side. One more side, one more set, then we're on the floor. Bing, bang, boom. All right, left leg is back. Weight over the right shoulder. Big, generous step. Both knees bend. In three, two, go. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, and 1. Last kettlebell. Last kettlebell swing or last circuit. All right, last time in 3. Get ready. Good. Let me see you. All right, in three, two, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, keep going, ten, five, four, three, woo, two more, two, one more, and rest, put your kettlebells down, all right, we're going down to the floor, so adjust yourselves and adjust your cameras. Grab everything with you. We've got weights. Um, is all you really need. You can use a kettlebell possibly, right? But we've got mostly weights. All right. So I think everybody can see. Come on to the floor. We're going to start with 15 bridges, traditional bridges. So um, I'm just going to do a little smile twist if you want to join me. Uh, good. Uh, all right. In your bridges, you can hold. You can bring it. You, you can hold a weight on your belly or overhead, or you don't need any weights at all. And we're gonna go into a neutral stance, so heels in line with the sitting bones. Um, I mean, anybody who wants to use anything else in this is more than welcome to it. Tilt your pelvis. Point your pubic bone up. Okay, back is imprinted to start. I just like my arms over my head, but you can use the weight if you'd like. Good, all right, everybody's down on the floor. Okay, tilt the pelvis, lift your hips up in the air in three. Are you good, Maria? I don't know if you're looking at something else. Okay, okay, okay. And go, 15, all the way up, one. When you come up and down, articulate your spine, that means don't let your tailbone come down before your middle back. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We got five more. Five, easy peasy. Four, really squeeze the glutes just like we've been doing. Three. So it's the same kind of thrust, too, as that kettlebell. One and down. All right, now we're gonna pick up weights. We're gonna do chest flies. 
arms come out to the side. We're going to add leg drops. So you, if you have a strong, healthy back and you know that you're okay with that, you can do both legs, or you're going to drop one leg at a time as the arms open out. All right? You can do two legs, one leg, no legs, whatever you'd like. Okay? So on your back, pick up your weights before you can lay down on the floor. Just stay for through your shoulders. Legs, by the way, bent if your lower back is an issue at all. All right, even with a, with a single leg. In three, two, now slow. Open up and lower down one leg. Come back in one. Down two. Again, if you're using both legs, good for you. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'll show you both legs. Nine, my have a bent leg. Ten, you'll definitely feel these. Eleven, twelve, thirteen. Now listen, on the last one, if you are doing alternating legs, do both legs, bend the knees. Fifteen, and in. Bring your arms down. Legs can come up. We're going to do a pullover crunch. You can use one single weight or two weights. The arms are going to come back and touch behind you, and then you're going to crunch up, upper body, lower body. You can bring the feet to the floor down and up. Um, do what you want to do, okay? Make it workable for you. If you're holding one weight, it can go in either direction. Arms up over your shoulders. I'm going to keep my legs in the air, but 90 degrees. Knee over hip, knee in line with ankle. In three, imprint your spine here. Two, one. Now take the arms. You can extend the legs here, and then crunch one. Arms touch behind you, two, three, you can touch the floor, remember, four, you can keep your head down the whole time, five, six, so I give you a lot of options, seven, eight, nine, ten, last five, five, four, Three, two, one. Okay. Woo. Good morning. All right, go into a wide leg. We're back to a bridge with a wide leg. So, you're in the home stretch, guys. Don't worry about it. Put your weight on your hips. Weight in the air. No weight. So, line up your heels with your sitting bones. Then turn your toes open. Tilt your pelvis, again, articulate the spine up and down. Do not miss that middle back part. All right, now slow and controlled on this in three, two, one. Lift one and slowly go down. Two, slowly go down. Three, thrust it up, slowly go down. Four, slow. Five, six. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Five more. Five, four, three, two, <clears throat> and one more. Oh, don't have my earphones on. Sorry about that. Five. Knees up. Let's do the spinal twist because you know I like that after a bridge. Open up to the left side, right palm up and open. And then come back through the center to the other side. Oh. And then come back to the center. All right, hands behind your head, soles of your feet together. We've got a couple of uh, crunching exercises to do here. So you can have your feet in the air or on the floor. So it's up to you. Doesn't matter to me. Just if, if they're on the floor, your back's gonna wanna arch. So again, go into that pelvic tilt a little bit. Pull the belly in. Lift your head and shoulders up and just crunch through the center in three, two, we go. 15, 14, 13, 14, 15, 13, 12. Elbows out, chin parallel to the floor. 10, nine, Good luck. Eight, seven, six, 
Seven, your neck shouldn't be moving. Six, five, four, three, two. Hold it up here. Bring your legs up 90 degrees. Elbow to opposite knee in three, two, go. One, switch, two. Again, the neck doesn't really move too much. Three, four, go to the outside of the knee. Six legs up higher if you want. Yeah, you don't even have to extend your legs. Eight, nine, ten, five, four, three, two, and one. Ugh, good. Legs up in the air, hands behind your head, or reach your hands to your feet. Belly in, hips down, or the hips can be slightly elevated. Reach up in three, two, go. 15, 14, 13. One or two hands behind your head is fine. 11, 10. If your hips are up, it's, a, it's very short. Eight, seven, again, no bobbing of the head. Six, five, I know I gave you that one. Four, three, two, one. Now we go hold your hands up or put your hands behind your head. Little tiny hip lifts, here we go. 15, it's not a kick of your feet, two, three, it's a very small movement up to the sky, six, seven, eight, up to the sky, so nine, ten, your abs should be on fire, five, anybody, four, three, two, one, Woo. stretch your legs out in front of you, stretch your arms over your head, just get a little... Relief in the abs. Did you feel that, anybody? Thank you. Okay. My, my um, reader model does. All right. You got time, so we're going to repeat it because I want to make sure everybody gets the right workout. So 15 bridges. Neutral position. Heel in line with the, spot, with the hips. Tilt your pelvis. Lift your hips up off the floor. Weight where you want it or no weight at all. In three, two, go. 15. 14, really squeeze, thrust it up. Think about the hip, uh, the, the kettlebell things that we were doing, Fifth, five. 10 more, nine, good booty day, eight, seven, six, five, four, I'd like to say something nice about the dolphins, but I can't right now. Four, three, two, and one, how about those dolphins, okay. All right, go back to your flies and your leg drops. All right, chest flies, legs drop, bent knee, straight knee, one leg, two leg. Dr. Seuss again. On your backs, legs up, arms up. Bent knee, especially if your lower back is an issue. In three, two, go. 15, 14, now if you're going alternating legs, on the last one you do both legs. So we're even. Five, six, seven, eight, whoo, nine, ten. What started out as a nice innocent workout. Five more. Four, three, two more. Now both legs together if you're doing singles. And one, good. One or two weights, legs on the floor or in the air. Good, we've got the pullover, the arms, or the weight touches the floor behind you, and we add a crunch to it in three, two, go. Touch the floor, crunch one, tap down, two, down, three, or extend your legs out, four, out, five. If you extend your legs out, Make sure that you are not arching your back when you get there, right? Nine, 10, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, put the weight down or on your belly. Last set of bridges, like a kettlebell thrust. Heels in line with sitting bones and then turn the knees and toes out. Do not miss the middle back on the way down. In three, two, go. 15, 
14, 13, 12, 11, good, doing great guys, 10, 9, I mean if you prefer, go back to standing and do a kettlebell thrust, 8, 7, I don't see anybody doing that, 6, 5, 4, hang on, you're almost there, 3, last one, coming up, one, nice job. Soles of the feet together. Hands behind your head. This is your last set. Toes, toes together, feet together, knees apart. In three, two, and go. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. No movement in neck. 5, 4, Three, two, hold your head and shoulders up. One, legs in. You can keep your legs there or extend the legs for bicycles in three, two, go. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, one. Legs in the air. Reach your hands to your feet or just your head and shoulders. And three, two, go. And again, you can lift your hips up on the floor and hold them there. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Last five, four, three, two, one. Again, hands up or hands behind your head. Hip lifts, go. 15. I don't want to see your legs going to your face. Three, just to the ceiling. Four, five, good count. Six, nice everybody. Seven, it's a small move. Eight, nine, ten, last five. Hang in there. Five, four, three, two, one. Ah, oh. you guys, roll on your belly. Oh, okay. Okay. All right, on your bellies, on your forearms. Yeah. Give a good stretch up. Pull your shoulders back, collarbones broad. Stretch out what you just worked on. Good, nice work. Soften your, your glutes here. Good, and then take your hands back a little bit further. Lift a little bit higher, and maybe even if you, it's hard in shoes, but lift your thighs off the floor. Shoulders down, away from your ears. And then push your hips to your heels, open your knees wide, sit in child's pose. Ah. Reach your arms forward, reach your hips back, breathe. And walk over to your right side, left hand on top, or even longer than left, right. and then walk through center to the other side. Come on back to your hands and knees. Round your back like a cat. Stretch across the shoulders, across the waist, across the hips. And then drop the belly, broaden the collarbones. Um, if being on your knees is too much, then you know, to go to a ball or a bench. And again, round your back. Scoop the belly in. And then come back to neutral. Cross your left leg in front of your right leg and sit behind your heels. Just a nice glute stretch because you did all those kettlebell swings. Move the flesh. Just stretch the arms up. Inhale. Hinge forward. Exhale. Walk your hands forward. Walk your hips back. Relax your shoulders down. Breathe in. And breathe out. Good. Just a nice, easy forward fold. I mean, easy. Nothing's easy, right? Breathe in. Breathe out. Walk your hands back in and switch the cross of your legs. Stretch your arms up, inhale. Hinge forward, exhale, walk your hands forward. Move your hips back, relax your shoulders. And then come on back in. 
Let's just do a spinal twist here. Bring the arms up, inhale. Left arm outside, right thigh, right arm behind you, inhale. Twist deeper, exhale. Inhale, stretch the arms up and take it to the other side. Twist. Inhale, stretch your arms up. Exhale, release your arms. Move your legs around to any side. Whatever it is that takes you to come up, I want you to come into a standing forward bend. Bring the arms behind your back. Interlace your fingers, palms together. Arms up. Somebody left that on the whole okay. Tuck your chin into your chest. Roll up slowly. Roll the shoulders back and around. All the way up. Okay. Arms up. Lean to the right side. Inhale, lean to the left side. Inhale up, open up your arms. Give yourself a pat on the back and a hug. And you are done. Day after Thanksgiving. Stay strong, stay fit, stay healthy.